Hi everyone, this is Vash, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about how I set up my screenshot tool. This is kind of a tutorial, I guess, because uh, ultimately I really prefer to take screenshots in a specific way. Um, and that is if you, I have Flameshot installed, and um, I'll go into why I'm using Flameshot in just a second here, but I really like this particular setup where I can select exactly what I want in a screenshot. And then I can also just go ahead and edit the screenshot. And we'll, we'll touch back on this in a minute. But uh, at work, oh, and I forgot you could even do that. Oh, that's right. Okay. And it, so at work, I, um, I often use a tool called Snagit in Windows. And uh, I use that a lot for documentation. It's very, very useful for documentation stuff because I can take a picture of a menu or I can take a picture of something that I'm really trying to specifically focus in on. And that is how I tend to use screenshots. I'm not one to, you know, take a screenshot of my desktop or anything like that. I just don't often do that. Um, and that's partially because I'm just not one to really set up a desktop until I've lived in the distro a little bit and, you know, kind of made sure that this is what I want to stick with. We'll see if this is Manjaro is what I stick it with here. But ultimately... As you can tell, I'm, I'm just using all the defaults right now. But let's take a look at what we can do about this. So what you have to do, what I like to do anyway, is I like to go to the global shortcuts here. You have to go in first to Spectacle, and you have to unbind any specific key combinations you want to use. I'm probably not going to use Meta Shift Print, so I just left it alone. Um, and then, so you, once you, you click in it and you just go down to custom and you just leave it set to none. And once you've done that, you can apply that. And then what you want to do is you want to add a new one. And if you just type flame shot, after you've got it installed, of course, you'll find it here under graphics. And I've already added that to my menu, so I'm not going to click it again. But once you've, uh, once you've done that, you'll have this little launch flame shot icon here. And that's where you can go in and actually set this this particular one up. The GNOME method is a little bit easier just because there's only one shortcut menu to deal with. But uh, even in, with the Plasma, it's not super difficult to figure out which one it's in. So anyway, if I click on Take Screenshot here and I hit Custom and then I click into the box, I can hit Print. And that is that. And I'll hit apply. And so now, whenever I hit print screen, it pops up. I can take my screenshot and we're done. So let's open up There we go. We'll open up LibreOffice Writer. And there's a reason I wanna I wanna open this up. So uh this, this default theme. I have to, I'll have to go in and change it. So let's say that I was really trying to um, really trying to make it a point that I wanted to click or I, you should click on the tools menu for some reason. Normally you'd have to click out and go start a screenshot tool or you'd take a picture of your entire screen or the entire window. Um, again, I prefer to focus my screenshots, but the nice thing about a lot of stuff with Flameshot is if you hit your key, your mouse is still in place. So notice my mouse cursor is still over this. So now if I go and I grab this screenshot, it's immediately obvious where I'm saying the tools menu is. I could even go as far as, I think it's this right here, I could even go as far as blurring, no, oh, it's this, I'm sorry, I'm clicking on the wrong one. There we go. I could even go as far as blurring some of this out so that it's even more obvious what I'm focusing on. Uh, and, and you could do, I mean, you could really be very detailed and do that. Or, um, you know, that's, to me, that's a really useful thing to be able to do especially if this is information that is more sensitive or confidential that you don't want to you don't want to take uh, in that screenshot so the nice thing here is when I go and I save this or I copy this 
this is the version of the screenshot I have. I haven't taken a screenshot and then went back and edited that screenshot, meaning that I have two screenshots around. I have this copy of the screenshot. And if I go on ahead and I save this, it's going to ask me where. I'm going to put it in home. That's fine because I have like nothing on this machine right now except for some apps I've installed. And that's that. And so then say I wanted to show something specific in tools. And again, if I go out and I have to go click something else, I can't do that. So say I wanted to highlight this option for some reason. If I just hover over it and or not. That is interesting. Okay, so that's that's very interesting. I haven't noticed this before. I'm gonna have to see if I can uh, I can figure out a way around this. But when I'm in this menu like this, I can't actually hit the button. I believe that's because my cursor and therefore I guess my keyboard is captured by uh, writer. And so that might be why it's doing this. I'll have to see if I can find a workaround as to how to get that to work and you know, put out a little follow-up video or uh, put a little notation or something in this video after the fact. But that is that is weird. I, uh, I don't think I've seen that before. And that may be just a KDE thing, but um, yeah, it's definitely not there. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to see. I wonder if it has to run the flame shot as roots or something like that. But I just don't, I don't know. That's, that's weird. But anyway, I'll have to look back at that and get back to y'all. But that's really what I kind of wanted to talk about. I can, you know, I can go and I can highlight something. This is actually really useful. I used, um, I used this one day when, uh, I think it was the um, Destination Linux game day. They had an issue with the way the time was showing up on their website. And I was like, hey, this is what I'm seeing. And I, I wasn't, because it doesn't, it didn't say, uh, I think it was trying to figure out what time it was, central time zone. And it didn't say that. But then in the post, it said that it was something else, but it was sh said it would only show up in your time zone if you were logged in. And so apparently it took my, it figured out my time zone, I guess, from my, location or something. And so that's where it was doing that. And it was really confusing to me because it's like I'm not logged in. And so that's when I was showing uh, showing them that, hey, this is what it's looking like. And I noticed when you hover over it, you can actually get that information as to what it actually was set up with. And I could, I could grab a screenshot with Flameshot that you couldn't really otherwise because of the delay and the way it would lose mouse focus on it. So... I find it very useful um, to be able to do something like this. I'm going to have to research how to get this particular thing when uh, you know we're looking at a menu or something like that. But I, that is the first time I've run into that particular issue. So we will see. But uh, if you have any other tools that you think are a better fit than Flameshot for something like this, feel free to let me know. Um, but I, I tend to find being able to take a screenshot like this super useful very very helpful in what I am generally trying to convey when I'm taking a screenshot. So hopefully this was useful and uh, thanks for watching.